Hi, Jenny here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from my normal videos as I thought I would make one about tasting different foods. I'm not one to taste different foods often. As evidenced by, we went to Hu Hot Mongolian Grill this weekend and that's kind of like a Asian buffet type place, get chop suey type food. And I go through the, the line and you pick out the foods that you want and then you go over to a grill and then the cooks take it from your food from you and they put it on the grill and heat it all up for you and give it back to you. And we got back to the table and my daughter's looking at my food and I had my normal, you know, bamboo shoots and water chestnuts and sprouts and baby corns and she's all like, Ma, that's the kind of food you make when you're at home. <laughs> Those are the ingredients you use. And I'm like, well, yeah, because that's what I like. <laughs> so, but also interesting, I found the last few days that I've actually tried different things, which is different for me, and that's what made me think of this video. Because she had stopped at um, like a health food store before coming home, and we had thought of you know different things. Here and there, we've talked about different things to eat, um, one of those being seaweed. So she had brought some seaweed home for us to eat, and I tried that, and oh, what an experience. It was, it was different than what I thought, so um, I'll have that footage in here. Did I record anything? Oh, of course not, because now it records, because I forget the so button. Funny. Okay. <laughs> seaweed. I forgot to press record. Seaweed. My daughter bought some. She's, oh, it's horrible, but I think I'm going to finish it. I can't waste it. So, oh. Oh. Blah. I don't know how you people eat this stuff. <laughs> so there was sea salt and then there was sesame. And so I tried the sea salt first and all that and it tasted pretty fishy and I, I don't care for fish. Um, and then we went by my mom's place and we had her try it. When I guess it's good. <laughs> but I am going to try just like Jennifer tried the seaweed. Sea salt seaweed. Tastes like fish, <laughs> but it would be fish that <laughs> fish that died. <laughs> that was it was five days old or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what it tastes like. But not so bad that I wouldn't eat the other piece, so I wouldn't waste it. <laughs> yeah, and then we kind of did a round of everybody trying uh, the sesame seaweed, which was better, but not much better. <laughs> What do you think? I mean, better than the sea salt question mark. Yeah? Is it fishy? Yeah. Is it I don't know what fish is. Wow. She's never, she has no point of reference because she's never eaten fish. It's small. It's a teeny tiny. And it might be like a little. It is. Teeny. Teeny. <laughs> Manny's turn. Yeah. No? Oh, I do. I've got silver, but. I've got water. It's like. It's better than the sea salt, though. Yeah. Oh my good. Could, no. could get her a, a bottle. Could get me a bottle too. Uh, having here with sesame. Sesame flavor. Oh, this one should have a different <laughs> flavor. Does that say was uh, toasted sesame? Well, I don't like that one better than the other. Yeah. That's good. Still, it's, it's fishy. Yeah. First, you get it. It oh. feels like a cracker. Yeah. And then you get the fish taste. <laughs> and I like fish, but yeah. Five day old fish. <laughs> no, good. So we've got your mother's bottle. All right, here we go. My turn. Sesame seaweed. See if it's any better. You take such big bite. Oh. <laughs> no. We've got the salt. And it's still the fishy seaweed. No, not happening. <laughs> so, anyways, that was kind of fun. So then um, she also brought home um, an aloe drink. It's called Shen. Um, I think I've got a partial different one here, which also I tried and, and they laughed at me as I tried it. It was it was not ready for having some of the chunks in the drink. Um, Tastes the good, but... And then today I was grocery shopping. I thought, okay, well, I'll try to pick up either a couple more of those so I do something else. A couple different things to taste on the video. And my other daughter picked out some things for me to try also, um, and I did. So I have a few of those. So this video may be over the course of a couple days that I will film some stuff. Um, 
The other thing I did pick up the other day, I looked at work the other day, one of the gals had some seasoned pretzels. And so I tried that. I was like, and she likes hot spicy stuff. And I don't like spicy. And I tried those and they tasted pretty good. In fact, they actually kind of tasted like the, the garlic crackers that you kind of get either like in the Chex Mix um, and all that. So I thought when I was shopping, um, I picked up those. because She had told me, she was like, well, have you heard of the Dots pretzels? I didn't know. So I did pick up Dots home style pretzels. So they kind of have a garlic onion taste to them. Um, so I tried these and they, they tasted pretty much just like like hers did. Um, so these ones are our little pretzel sticks. So those are pretty good. After a few of those though, it's kind of like, ooh, that's enough spice. <laughs> nice. So not hot, just very flavorful. So that's very good. The other thing I picked up today was I picked up some um, cauliflower hummus. I've eaten regular hummus before. I've never seen cauliflower hummus. So this has, i to get my glasses on to actually read. It's made with white beans and topped with pickled carrots, cauliflower, and red peppers. Oh, there's topping in there. I can't see that. I didn't see that. So I thought, well, I like regular hummus. I like cauliflower. So we could try the cauliflower hummus. As long as I'm doing this video, let's try two different things. So I figured, got some raw broccoli. But that actually does have a topping on there. Let's see what that tastes like. There's no broccoli in my teeth. <laughs> That's okay. For a snack, will be good to have to have some snacky foods around the house. Like today, when I film videos, I usually kind of don't eat lunch. Now I get really hungry. <laughs> I'm going to hurry up and make dinner so I have something to eat. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I would eat that. And cut. Bring up the other stuff. Okay. Let me stand here. So this is like one of the waters that they brought home. So, gen, collagen, aloe vera infused water. So this is apple and lychee. I don't remember if the other ones were collagen too or not. They were too. Oh, this, this one's pretty well drank. I haven't tried this flavor. I tried a different one. It was something up, but it smells all right. This one, this one looks fine. Lightly infused water. Not bad. That one's not chunky. The other one I had, that was chunky. And I was reading it and it, has, it had aloe vera in it. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of weird. You think about putting aloe vera on your skin for cuts and whatever. And so, but to drink aloe vera? But we'll see. So I picked up this drink today. It won't be very cold, but this is a mango aloe vera drink. No artificial colors, flavors, naturally flavored with pure aloe pulp. Ha! <laughs> Now that I know to look for it, you know, it doesn't bring some of the surprise, but I figured oh, mango's a good flavor. I like mango. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Yeah. So then you got those chunks of, of aloe in there. Oh, but it tastes really good. You want to be on camera and taste them? Maybe for the other one. Well, that's good. A couple minutes, like I go on a walk with my neighbor. All right, and then we, I don't know, then Cassie made, you know, picked out these for <laughs> us to try. Well, she's had the strawberry one mm -hmm. she likes, so I thought I would try. What's this? Ramune? Ramune. 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 So this one is melon flavor. Fun marble drink. 
Car what's carbonated? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take my uh, sticker off of here. Oh, we got another one, too. Um, I have to get yours out. Just don't hit the light up. <laughs> you need to open the melon one? Well, this not open either. No. I've got one in both. We have a strawberry one, and we have. Mm, I know. We should, could do a couple bags. What else do I have in there? I got something else to try too. Oh, oh there's yeah. Well, alright. <laughs> Is that supposed to do that? Yep. Oh. Did you not read the directions on them? Oh, I did not. There's directions. On where? On the, on the oh, on the no! What does it say? <laughs> Hold on! Who knew there were directions? Maybe. Twist. Oh, I'm glad we have to put back on. What? Ah. Mine too. Right, Wee! And I can be on camera. <laughs> You're gonna have to angle it down. Oh goody. <laughs> what are you looking <laughs> for now? I gotta edit myself. You can just point it at me. Okay. Hold on. We'll be back. <laughs> so I mean pretty much you just break off the green bit from the cap. Oh. And then I put it in like the center of my hand. And then kinda like pinch it in and then you place that part over the marble. And then press down. Ooh. And then puts that in there? Yep. And then you drink oh. it. Was that the carbonation? Mm hmm. Oh. So the marble gets like trapped in there. And then your drink is on the bottom part. Wow. Really? Mm hmm. Oh. What is this that I have in it? Oh. The it's marble just up there. In the top there somewhere, huh? Yep. Okay. You can do mine too? No, uh, don't you want to turn open yours? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can. I could. Or you could. Well, that's interesting. So then does it spill out at all and from the... The drink? Right? Yeah. The marble. If you turn it upside down? It's drink well. Oh, yeah. You can spill, <laughs> spill your... Oof. <laughs> yeah. The drink will spill out because... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. It broke off the whole lid part. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I don't want to spill it, I suppose. And you can see that it is actually completely open. Ooh. And then there is like, um, yeah, that part goes in there. Yeah, you can see it better on hers. Oh, because you had drank yours down. Yeah. And then the bottle is, is pinched in there so it holds that so that doesn't fall down. But that's just it's a carbonation tablet or something, huh? Mm hmm. It makes a, a carbonation tablet? No. It's I already carbonated. It's already carbonated? Yes. Well, then what does that do for us? It's just the bubble. That's the just the marble. It's, it's fun. It's just for fun? It's just for fun to like, cap off the drink, pretty much. Don't spill it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, well, again, what do I have here? Melon. 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 Cheers. It's very carbonated. <laughs> well, yeah. Like soda. You don't drink carbonated no. stuff, so. Yeah, you're not used to the carbonated all that, am I? No. <laughs> eh. It's just a weird way to drink it. I can turn it spill. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Lightly flavored. It's almost like when you take the water and you put all the fruit in the water and you let it sit there for a while and you have flavored water. But. So, that's it for now. Maybe we'll have a little bit more later. Uh, more oh, I know. I was going to show you the. Um, what did I bring it in here? <laughs> I passed time. Hold, hold on. It'll be quick. Um, oh, we have these other things here too. The pop and cooking. Cooking. We'll be back. Oh, yeah. I've got to go for a few moments, but we have a couple other things that we're going to try too. And then we had, um, my daughter had also picked up these things. They're kind of like Tootsie Rolls. But 
this one says it's white rabbit. I don't know. That's the I was I was eating it and I was and I was chewing it. It was really sticking my teeth and I didn't want to lose a cap. But, you know, with my teeth coming out, so I stopped. <laughs> Although I was telling totally, you, I guess Mandy said too about a cap. He said you're supposed to actually just suck on them, like it, but they still kind of stick to my like like a tootsie roll. So I don't know. Just so that was something I tried too. Different, but anyways. Eating. My video, there we go. It's recording, so I do this once. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Go, go, Here we go. go. It's a Fiesta seasoned cricket. Yo, line three is probably Dan calling you back. It's not bad. It's all seasoning. <laughs> Just crunchy seasoning. Crunchy seasoning. He said it doesn't. You can put them on the well, okay. crouton, and if you didn't know, what not they bad. Were, not bad. Better than the seaweed. <laughs>